Google, let's enter the mind of Pastor Terry Jones. Pastor Terry Jones recently said he was going to burn Korans. Not only burn them, but he's going to burn them in the streets and by the buckets. Several days ago, Pastor Terry Jones got a warning. The terrorists were going to cut his head off. Oh yeah, I'm going to knock that sucker right off. A poof, plop, down on the ground it goes, wop, wop. So, we need to give you bodyguards. These big blurry FBI agents show up. We're here to protect you, Mr. Jones. We're here to protect you, boy. Scum. Causing trouble for our troops overseas. Just because they're shooting up everybody's house over there don't mean nothing. That don't mean the terrorists don't hate us. We're there to liberate them. Inside of every terrorist, there's an American trying to get out. Meanwhile, on the other side of the moon, the White House is busily working with the FBI agents. Bodyguards of fearless Terry Jones. So then the FBI gets the ear of Terry Jones and says, oh, there's a phone call from the White House. Terry Jones says, are they looking at my time in Africa, I wonder? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I repented to God all my sins, but I can still be convicted. And the White House says, Mr. Jones, you will stand down. We will make your life inconceivably miserable. Hey, that could have happened, right? Yeah, huh, huh, no, maybe? Look, look here, you. Hey, hey, I'm talking. I'm talking to you, he said. I'm talking to you, mister. I cut your fucking head off, okay? Chop, chop. Mine. Put that on a bowl and all you infidels. You know, long ban and Karan. What happens now? Now, there is no debate. There will be no debate. No debate. 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 There is no debate. So it was Terry Jones, excuse me, was Pastor Terry Jones a victim of radical Islam? Or was he a victim of the bullying from the thugs from the government? Or was he just a patsy? Just a puppet on a string, la da la da la. Let's, let, let's pull the puppet strings. Let's utilize that to get rid of the mosque. How many political parties had a hand in this, I wonder? How many people benefited off this? How many news media outlets have been screaming this non-stop? September 11th, folks, is coming. Boof, it's gonna be here tomorrow. Oh, I don't wanna hurt the troops. Oh, listen, man, the troops are down there shooting the plate of uranium in everybody's house, okay? They got 12,000 robots on the ground and 7,000 drones in the air with Hellfire missiles on it. They got Blackwater employees replacing every soldier they take out of there. These are mercenaries. At least the soldier got some rules. Mercenary got no rules. Give him gun, give him ammunition, and get out of here, guys. Red attack, 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 attack. Gotta shoot those brown people. Gotta kill them all. Cause they got our fucking oil. They don't know it, that's all. They don't know it's our oil, right? Pastor Terry Jones is nothing more than a victim of government. Bumped up by the media into a position he couldn't sustain. And then utilize the beat up on the oh man. Gee, I wonder who had a hand in this. Gee, I wonder who benefits off this. Gee, I guess, I guess, you know, everything's hunky dory now. There's no debate anymore. Nobody's allowed to talk about the Quran. No one's allowed to talk about stoning women. No one's allowed to talk about hanging people for fucking having sex outside of marriage. See, when they hang somebody, they do it in the town. And that whole town gets the message, okay? So you empowered these people, is what you've done, dickhead. I mean, Pastor Terry Jones. You empowered these people. You proved to them that if they made enough noise, they can get their own way. Once again, hey, why not? They've done for thousands of years. In a religion where you're not even allowed to speak to the men unless you're spoken to first. Oh, Pastor Terry Jones lets down all the women on the planet. Hey, Pastor, how's it feel to let down all these people, huh? Huh? Guess we'll never know, right? You won't be telling your side of the story. I'm sure you got a bucket full of cash inside that vest. I seen something leaning against your jacket. It looks like a big envelope to me.